Hey guys, welcome back to our Urban Homestead and another edition of City Girl Sunday. <laughs> she remembered the name. <laughs> um, today we're going to make pasties. They are a definite Michigan thing. She's never had them. And she's about to have her socks blown off. So <laughs> I'm going to show her how to do it. And then I'm going to, we're going to have so much that we're going to have enough to put in the freezer for both of our families. So it'll be a quick, easy dinner for whenever she wants to have them again. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right. So we got to make the dough first uh, because it needs to sit for an hour and a half. I've got two cups of shortening. You can use lard if you have it. I don't have it. And two cups of boiling water. Is your camera close enough? I know. And then you just want to get all of this mixed and melted. And then all you're going to need is between five and a half cups, or five and six cups of flour. I start with five and a half and a bit of salt, and that is the dough. I've tried different um, variations. I've tried half shortening, half butter. I think that either all shortening or all lard works the best. Butter works better for um, like pie, yeah, pie crust and stuff. The butter gives it a good flavor, but the texture of the dough just doesn't really work. This is a Danish dough whisk. This works wonderful for uh, mixing breads and pastry dough. They're on Amazon, fairly cheap. I don't think I've ever seen, have you ever seen them at a Walmart though? No, I ain't bought mine from Amazon. I do have one. I just bought it because like I guess that everybody else does. <laughs> <laughs> all right so now this is all you can't you guys can't see them. all combined together and now I'm get more of your face but now it's time for the flower flower I'm going to start with uh, five and a half cups of flour and we'll see how that goes. We actually made a little bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and about a teaspoon of salt. They can see it. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> now, for people that don't want to hand do that, is it something you can do in your KitchenAid or no? No, it uh, makes it too. It, yeah. This is really. I mean, it comes together in no time. You don't want to do yeah. it any other way than this way. I try to be like students and ask questions. Because <laughs> really, people, I don't know either, so, you know. And so that's about the texture that you're looking for. I know it looks um, sticky and whatnot, but, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't stick to my hands. It comes together nicely. And then we are going to let this chill in the fridge for an hour and a half. And then we will come back when it's time to do that. So we'll see y'all in just a little while. We're back. So now we're going to make the filling for the pasties. Um, these 
generally have carrot, onion, potato, rutabaga. I don't have rutabaga, so this is potato, onion, and carrot. And they're diced up. And we wanna season this with salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. It's over here. Okay. We're not finding it. You just got over there. <laughs> <laughs> Dual action. You love those, don't you? I do. It might look like a lot, but there's a lot of veg in here. <laughs> And then we're going to mix this together. Jack would hate this right now. <laughs> Probably going to add a bit more salt and pepper because you want everything to have a little bit on it. <laughs> I thought, how pretty is that going to be? But <laughs> Then you start cooking with them and it's like, yeah. Oh. My next stuff, I think I'm just going to even refrigerator and all is going to be solid blue. Or solid white, one of the two. Yeah, I like stainless steel. Let's yeah, except for it. like all the marks <laughs> that it leaves you. And then for the meat, we're going to use two different kinds of meat. This is um, sweet Italian sausage. And I'm going to use hamburger. <clears throat> so that was one pound of the sweet Italian sausage. And then we're going to do two pounds of ground beef. You can use venison. It's really good with venison. You can use any kind of meat that you want. Like, do they do ham ones and stuff like that, too, or? No, nope, it's typically just, uh, Something you can have ground Ground meat. meat. Yeah. yeah. Ground bologna. Ground spam. Oh, listen, I love spam. <laughs> and then, you just... <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm being creative. Mm-hmm. And then we just want to get all of the meat mixed in with the vegetables. It's almost like a big meatloaf, but veggie. You know? mm -hmm. And I know this looks like a lot, but, um, you know, this will cook down. And we are making a big batch because it is kind of um, a labor-intensive meal. You don't want, you know what I mean? <laughs> That'd be why I haven't made it. <laughs> Everybody knows that watches me. Mine's easier the better. <laughs> should make you mix this up, woman. You're doing quite fine. <laughs> I'm enjoying watching the view. <laughs> Flex. Oh, yeah. That's like doing row. <laughs> row. row. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and I can even see it better from your video up here. You are really working it, girl. Yeah. yeah. Get in there. <laughs> I'm seeing in-depth over here and long range there. <laughs> Two different angles. I'm impressed. Look at that. That's the best thing about making meatloaf, actually. Jack I, hates it. I don't like it when it has the egg in it. I don't like the feeling of raw egg on my hands. Oh, really? Yeah. You know what bothers me? Hmm. The ketchup. Really? Yeah. I don't mind the ketchup. <laughs> It's a different sensory, I guess, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, she's got something on my... Making a mess. mess. <laughs> hot mess alert. Hot <laughs> mess express. All aboard. Choo-choo. All right, that looks... 
pretty well mixed. It looks like it. All the white looks like onion. Good enough, right? All Absolutely, right. Mama. Now, would you like to use my towel? I'm gonna wa actually wash my okay. hands. I'm gonna wash my hands and get the dough out, and then we'll be back. Can you hit stop on my camera as well? And we're back. So the dough has been resting. Got some flour down here, and we're going to. Cut this. We will only make eight. I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. Feel how nice and pliable that dough, I mean, it's very pliable. She's worried it won't make enough, but it's very pliable, stretchy dough. We were talking about what it feels like. Like a silly, silly putty. Silly putty. Yeah. <laughs> then I can see how the real people um, actually roll their stuff. All right, so. tight quarters with the camera camera in the way help we do this perfect perfect and we can put it well I'll hand it when we need it I can move my it's going blurry why is mine blurry really blurry actually now can you see it yeah what happened i have no idea <laughs> no, no sorry for the little blurry guys <laughs> that was really weird yeah let's do it again And then you just want to roll this out into a big circle. Hold on, hold on. I might have to take it a different spot than yours because for some reason, let's see if it does it this way. Did you stop yours for a minute? All right, so we've got it. It's not obviously not a hundred percent in a circle. That's okay. Do you, I need another um, one cup measure? Do you, or half a cup would be fine. There you go. And then you're just gonna scoop your filling anywhere from a cup to a cup and a half. I know it's gonna look like it's a lot, but this will cook down. And it doesn't make it like watery inside. Mm -mm. We'll start with a cup and see where that takes Look us. You guys, I'm impressed here. <laughs> <laughs> then you just roll it over. Kind of tuck it in nicely. And then just like with a pie crust. Roll it in. You can, um, you know, if you want to do like a pretty little forked edge, you can do that, but. So you're really doing just like the pinch sides that you would on a, a pie. Mm -hmm. And then you need a knife. Sharp or regular? Sharp. A small version. So I always make hearts in my pies and my pastries, anything I make, because it's made with love. How precious. Uh, you just really want to make sure that you have <laughs> something to escape. I was but. giving you credit for this precious. <laughs> 
And that is what... Isn't that pretty? One looks like. And they're cute. Aren't they huge? I told you they're yes. big. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to get these done. And these are going to bake for about an hour in a 350 degree oven. And we'll come back and show you what they look like. And also talk about the big debate with pasties. Do you know what it is? What? We'll tell them when we come back. Okay. <laughs> okay. She's the boss. See okay. you guys in a few. All right. So here they are out of the oven. And now I'm going to talk about the big debate with uh, pasties. <laughs> so you are either a gravy on your pasties or a ketchup ugh, on your pasties. Clearly, you can tell what I think the right answer is. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you like, ketchup or gravy. And I'll be right back with uh, Tom for a taste test. All right, so there's Tom. First ever pasty, right? Pasty. Pasty. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. Blow on it, baby. <laughs> That's just so sexy, I can't contain myself. Oh my. It's gonna burn your mouth off. We don't need two bites for an answer. Then you all I got was crush. Oh. We're blowing it again then. Yeah, look at that. It's very hot. Ooh. Just a bit. I mean, you know, they did just come out of the oven. That's yummy. Would you want them again? Mm hmm Well, if you can ever get her to cook them for you. <laughs> Crystal, that's much too much to work. <laughs> Tell everybody bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and this recipe. Pasties are delicious, and they are a definite Michigan staple. So um, until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching and abundance, abundance and blessings, blessings to, to you. Bye-bye. <laughs>